Hey everybody, welcome to the Kickstarter preview video for the character Meeples project from MeepleSource.com. If you're not familiar with MeepleSource.com, I'll put up a link to their website and also have a link to the Kickstarter project. Uh, they make a variety of things, uh, different board game bits and things to sort of trick out your board games, uh, make them cooler, kind of integrate you in the theme a little bit more. Uh, but they're probably most famous for their character meeples. So let me just jump right into it and show you just a ton of the different components that they have, give you an idea of their quality and all the different variety and things that you can see. Also splice in some of the you know stuff that they're featuring on their Kickstarter project itself. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Well, let's first go over kind of the basic components. Now if you're a game designer or game developer and you need pieces for prototypes, uh, th this kind of stuff will be of interest to you. You can see you've got different little miniature meeples of different colors, you know, different discs of different colors, different cubes of all kinds of different colors. They've just got a variety of stuff you can get there. Uh, most folks probably won't be interested in this, uh, but you could if you, you know, need replacement pieces for games and things like that. So they've got a variety of things like that. And they've got, this one is kind of near and dear to my heart, if you will. You can get this case here of this poker chip. So it's got this little slide thing here, very small. And you have these nice, good quality uh, poker chips, but they're sort of mini. And they feel like sort of that same sort of clay that you would get for your standard poker chips. So it's a really nice, uh, you know, quality of component there. Even comes with a little uh, dealer button here and then in a spot for a deck of cards. So this is very nice, uh, you know, very affordably priced in my opinion as well. So this is a cool sort of, you know, your basic components, if you will. And here you've got sort of a random assortment of different components. So here you've got these sort of different sized uh, corn pieces here. So these, you know, you could use these to represent food and different things. So maybe this is like, you know, one food and the big one represents five or ten food. So these are kind of nice. You could use these like in Stone Age or Agricola or any game that has food. But then you've also got your sort of specialty items here. So you've got this, you know, this apple piece, uh, this little chunk of meat here, uh, you know, little cows and things, uh, chickens and pigs and fish and smiley faces and, you know, shirts and things like that. Uh, you know, some oversized meeples. So they do a whole variety of, you know, these specialty things that you can really kind of bling your game out with. Now one really awesome thing that they have here is this sort of set to kind of trick out your Lords of Waterdeep game. So here are the original cubes that come with the game. You can see for the warriors and the wizards and everything like that. Well here you can get these kind of tiny meeples, which you know you can you know have out. Doesn't take up any more room than the cubes do, but they're a little bit more thematic, you know, the different characters and things like that. And they've also got here you can see the skulls from the Waterdeep expansion. These are very tiny here, but these are really cool sort of tricked out uh, skulls that you can add to your game. So this is sort of like if you wanted to maybe get you know all these different pieces as sort of a kit for uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Now let's go ahead and highlight some of the different uh, character meeples that they're most famous for. So here's a small assortment of different character meeples. So you can see here you've got sort of a, a James Bond or maybe Matrix type of character there, you know, it's suit and tie pretty cool looking but then they'll even do different shapes like here you've got sort of your standard alien you see it's got it's like its third leg there slightly different head or you've got your astronaut here which is a pretty neat little design there and usually you can get these in, in packs so you can get like a set of them of like six or eight or, or different pack sizes here so this guy kind of reminds me of you know the king in uh, the Dragon Quest games the old Dragon Warrior games on the NES so they have that sort of 8-bit look to it and then we've got some other ones here, you know, you've got sort of a Canadian one here, patriotic. Um, you know, like this guy here, you can see you got the different shaped head uh, with the little uh, Viking horns and things like that there. I especially uh, like the mummy one for some reason, it's pretty cool. So you can see, you know, a variety of uses for these. You could, you know, trick out Carcassonne with these. And so instead of taking, uh, you know, the blue player, you could take the mummy player and you have the mummies versus uh, these uh, zombies versus uh, these sort of, you know, different army characters or knights and things. And here you've got sort of a science fiction flared one here, sort of a Trekkie looking kind of thing and a, a stormtrooper there. That's pretty cool looking. And they've even got sort of, you know, kind of beyond the game, if you will, sort of a, a bride and groom set here. You could do something like that on a wedding cake, you know, something like that. And speaking of Carcassonne, if you wanted to do sort of a uh, get the new winter version of Carcassonne and play with some Christmas themed meeples, you've got the Grinch and the snowman and elves and Santa Claus and different things like that. So you can see there's a nice amount of detail on these and uh, you know nice little art and they're not afraid to you know bend the shape of the thing to fit uh, the theme and things like that. 
and at this point I'll go ahead and throw up on the screen uh, some different uh, characters that they're going to be coming out with as part of the Kickstarter project. So you can see they've just kind of gone all out. You can get a Lucador, a Rockstar, a Policeman. They've even got something like Cthulhu and the Centaur. You can get Wizards and Rogues and Clerics and Fighters. So you can see a nice sort of uh, more thematically descriptive characters that you can get for Waterdeep. Dragons, Minotaurs, you get your Dark Dwarf. So really kind of the sky's the limit with all of these different character meeples. And I know for some of the stretch goals and things, they're going to have all kinds of different other characters. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of all the variety and things and components that uh, MeepleSource.com has available. Thanks.